what up, Pennsylvania? Welcome to Brews with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? Uh, let's get to this classic beer I got from my friend Andy from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Thanks, pal. Uh, by the way, if you're looking at this, this is not, not uh, the traditional Yingling uh, traditional lager that 450, almost 450,000 people have had on Untapped. It's more of an amber lager uh, with some kind of, you know, kind of roasted caramel malt. Uh, this is the Yingling Premium Beer. By the way, Yingling is out of, uh, is it Pottsville? I just had it. Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Um, you know, been around, uh, you know, DG Yingling and Son, oldest American brewery, uh, family owned since 1829. So basically, it's been around 194 years. I think I have the math right on that. Uh, I'm sure plenty of you guys have had this. Please leave in the comments if you have had this or the traditional or whatever whatever you've had. But uh, this one right here, particularly the premium beer from Yingling, 4.5 on the record, just like the traditional lager. Tap in. Uh, Pilsner style brew, golden color, uh, pale malt character, finishes crisp and clean. Premium blends both the two row and six row uh, barley malt for thirst quenching taste. A regional favorite, it delivers well balanced flavor and uh, slight traces of hop aroma that is always refreshing. There you go, only 15,000 people rated this versus the traditional lager, the more amber lager that people know, 445,000. So just so we have that straight, this is not the traditional lager. This is the premium beer. So thank you for sending that to me, Andy. Uh, always welcome plenty more. Um, hopefully you're doing well. Uh, I've already poured it, and uh, that's about it. Hopefully you're having a great day. Let's get to the smell of it. Let's see what we got. It smells clean, barley, and corn right off the bat. Just straight, you know. Not too much earthy, more on the corn. Um, okay. All right. That's all I'm going to say. No words, just emotions. And please, it's free to you. Give me a like and subscribe. Really appreciate you for my YouTube algorithm. Like, subscribe, really helps me out. Let's roll. Very carbonated, very crisp. Get a nice barley note at the end. Very clean. Subtle, subtle earthy, earthy uh, malt. Um, but very, very delicious. Very, you know, could crush, crushable. Um, uh, Mouthfeel and percentage. If I didn't know this was 4.5 on the Richter. That's exactly what it feels like. Feels like a mo honestly kind of tastes like a Modelo. Um, so I would have guessed about, about that 4.4, 4.5. Mouthfeel, very light. You know, again, not as light as like a, you know, Bud Light, Coors Light, but feels very, very comparable to a, a Modelo. Modelo. Um, let me get any more notes. Let's see. Yeah, this r literally feels like it's a Modelo. Um, okay, well, you have to say like and subscribe. Okay, she's up here for more cookies. All right, can you say like? Like. And subscribe. Like. And good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. Okay, see you out there. See you out there. Wave. Okay, good to see you. <laughs> All right. Pout cleanser, please. Let's get it. Yeah, back to the uh, single malt island. Smoky and peaty. All right, beer, please. Four, please. As we know in golf, out in, uh, you know, the open territory. Four, please. Um, but anyway, with this Yingling, uh, premium beer, um, 
I did look up. There's a couple things I got to say about it. One, uh, it, I did look up what Modelo, Modelo uh, rates, and 325 people had Modelo, 325,000, sorry, not just 325 people, uh, rated about a 3.12 versus, I think, 15,000 rated this about a 3.32. I kind of feel like it's very, very similar to Modelo, which is probably one of my favorite uh, everyday loggers. So I got to give it props, uh, Yingling. Andy, thanks for setting it. Very, very nice and crushable. Um, and the other thing I was going to say is one person said, um, can't tell if it's a dude or, or a female, said uh, about this beer, I'm a little blown away by this one. Did not expect Yingling to show up like that. Wow, this one is what a, pl a plain light beer should taste like. This would be my Century Club badge if it was everywhere. Hell, I'd get a keg of this for our house. So creamy. So whoever Neville is on uh, untapped props, you know, not, I always look for good comments. That way I can kind of get a gauge on how I feel about it. So, uh, but yeah, I feel like this is very Modelo tasting like. Uh, clean, delicious, little corn, little earth. Creamy, delicious. And you know what? Let's slam it to see if there's any more characteristics. Because it's always like when you get a lot at a time, a slam, kind of get more characteristics. So, cheers. Like and subscribe. Let's go. You know what? As it ends, quite earthy or delicious, clean, earthy. Less on the corn, more on the subtle earth at the end. So, yeah. Nice, uh, I don't know what this goes for, for 12 packs or 6 packs, but very nice. Uh, I don't even know if I'd ever had a Yingling premium beer. I would have the Yingling traditional lager in uh, Texas with my, uh, you know, my brother-in-law plenty of times. But, uh, yeah, I... I think this is definitely a lot more crushable. So, all right, let's give it a grade. Stellar down to hell no. I'm going to give this, um, this was nice. Like, just kind of like I'd give uh, Modelo. This is creeping into reasonable category. Meaning, I give it an, I give it like an 86. Just a straight, solid B. Um, I would absolutely drink one of these anytime. Really crushable, nice and earthy, very much like a Modelo. Uh, I would love, I mean, it would be very interesting to have one of these side by side with a Modelo Especial. Um, you know, yeah. Anyway, leave in the comments what you think about this. Uh, if you've had it, how you think it compares to Modelo, uh, what you're doing right now, and, uh, or, you know, any thoughts you would like. So uh, please give me a like and subscribe. Por favor, really helps for my YouTube algorithm, and we will see you on the next beer review. Say hi to your mother for me. See ya.